Hi, welcome to the K9000 Dog Wash. Today I have Fez, Poppy and myself Maddie and we're here to show you how to wash your dog. Come on guys. Let's get started. Come on Fez. Good boy. As you can see, it's at a nice level so that whoop, it's easy for the dog to jump in and out. We hook the dog up so that they can't escape and we close the latch. Okay, once your dog is secure, it's time to put the money into the machine. $10 gives you 10 minutes and that's usually long enough to wash a medium sized dog. If your dog is extra large or has an extra thick coat or is extra dirty, it may take a little bit longer. You can use a $10 note or you can use coins to wash your dog. As you can see, $10 gives you 10 minutes. The first option is to shampoo. So I'm just going to grab the wash gun, press the button once to switch it on. We've got some nice warm water and the shampoo coming out of the wash gun. It's all natural products. It's very easy on the skin and leaves the dog smelling beautiful. It's very easy to manoeuvre the wash gun around to clean from all different angles. Poppy's a small dog, so it only takes a couple of minutes to wash her. But depending on the size of your dog, whether it be bigger or smaller, it may take a little bit extra time or maybe not as long. It's great having Fez chained up. So I've got both hands free to wash can use one to hold the wash gun and the other to help massage the shampoo into his coat. You'll notice that Fez isn't slipping around at all. It's because there's a nice non-slip floor in the tub. Hey, it smells so gorgeous. Good boy. So the bath is a fantastic height. Don't have to bend over to wash him. It saves my back. So once you've finished shampooing, just click the button again to turn it off. Rinse the shampoo off. We turn the nozzle here to rinse. And we rinse off all the soap suds. It only takes between 30 and 60 seconds, depending on the size and the coat of your dog. The next step is the conditioner. We use a natural conditioner. It leaves your dog's coat nice and shiny and soft. Now we just rinse the conditioner out. Just a quick rinse, doesn't take too long. There's an option here to use the flea and tick rinse. It's a natural flea and tick rinse, no nasty chemicals at all. The flea and tick rinse is an Australian registered product. The flea and tick rinse must be left in in order to be effective, so we don't rinse this one out. It's effective on fleas for up to 10 days and on ticks for up to three. So the next step is to blow dry your dog. We start on the low blow dry so as not to startle the dog. It's a nice warm heat, it's safe for your dog. It can take up to three or five to five minutes depending on the dog. So I'm just gonna put a couple more dollars in here to add some extra time and we'll blow dry fares. Once she's used to the low speed, we flick it up to the higher speed and then make sure it dries a bit quicker. Now that I've dried one side of Fez, I'm going to clip him onto the other chain so that I can do the other side. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. So once your dog is clean and dry, we get them out of the tub. Good boy, up down. Sit. Very last thing is to disinfect the tub. Grab the wash gun again. Give the tub a quick rinse down so that it's nice and hygienic and hair free for the next doggy that comes along. Thank you for watching this K9000 demonstration. Thank you to Poppy and Fez for being my helpers and happy dog washing.